Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As a Latina, as a Mexicana, I am so excited to be trying out the Hip Dot and Tapatio collab. So I have their palette here. I have their makeup sponge. So we're going to be trying it out together. And I'm so freaking excited because this look is so bomb. And oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to leave it till the end to tell you my full thoughts. But I am freaking excited. You have to watch this video. and You have to watch all the way to the end to hear my thoughts on it but uh this is something that you voted on on my instagram so if you are wanting to vote and have a say in what i do next what videos i do uh, i do a lot of my questionnaires on instagram stories and i let you pick what i'm going to do in my videos so it's really fun make sure you're following me on instagram if you're new hi welcome subscribe hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video i upload every single wednesday and friday and all i do is beauty here so it's really fun if you're into that kind of stuff make sure you're subscribed and let's just get into the review oh not even my brows are done right now. This is... Okay, before I get started, I wanted to tell you guys about these contacts because I love them so freaking much. I actually ordered from this brand before for Halloween and they're absolutely amazing. I have a coupon code. I'll have a link down below. But um, Unico, Unico I... I think that's how you say it, Unico Eye. I have the style Wildcat Green and it is so gorgeous. I have brown eyes, you guys, as you can see. And this just looks so natural, so gorgeous. You can't see the brown in through the green. So it's just really, really cute. And I wanted to show you that before we get started. Uh, yeah, I'll leave a link down below for you guys, not sponsored at all. Just, you guys, I, I have not been sponsored yet. I have not been sponsored yet, and I'm probably not going to be sponsored anytime soon, but I'm just letting you know, uh, the link is down below. I honestly, these are super comfortable contacts. I love them, and they are prescription. So let's just get started. I got to do my brows because this thing is, uh, this thing is cray cray right now. So let me do my brows real quick because I forgot to do that. So I really wanted to test out Tapatio, and I asked you on Instagram, and you said yes. So this is the Tapatio and Hip Dot collab that they did. I have the palette, I have the sponge, which look how huge it is whenever I get it wet. It says Tapatio on it, so freaking cute. So all my Latinas, even if you're not Latina, everybody loves Tapatio. My husband loves Tapatio. So let's start with the eyes. I'm going to start by putting on some primer on the eyes and we'll get going. So I'm going to start, oh, these colors are freaking gorgeous, I am super excited. So this is Salsa Picante right here, I'm going to put that in the transition, in the crease with a bigger fluffy brush. I'm barely touching my skin and holy pigmentation, can you see that, it's like a, a mustardy yellow very pretty. I'm going to try to be very light with this. I'm going to do like a fairly simple look. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous already. Like, I've never gotten anything from Hip Dot before, so maybe their palettes are just all so amazing. Like the formula, I just never knew because I never got anything from them, but this is really nice. So now with the same fluffy brush, I'm going to get into this peachy shade and I know it is like has a shimmer to it. So we're going to just be very light, make sure to tap it really good, but I'm going to put that a little bit lower into the crease because I want there to be a subtle like peachy tint. So I put the yellow in the transition and this peachy is going to go a little bit lower. And then if I need to go back in with that yellow to blend, I can. I'm also going to put this in this outer corner with a big fluffy brush. That same one that I used in the crease or in the with the yellow. I love that. I love it. These are such beautiful eyeshadows. Oh my gosh. 
I'm gonna use my finger now and I'm gonna get into this green. I'm gonna put that everywhere. Whew, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's beautiful. I'm gonna get into this brown, which is really pretty, with a smaller brush, and I'm gonna put that right in this outer corner to deepen it up a bit. And just a little bit in the crease, just to make sure that you can see my crease, because I have like slightly hooded eyes patting it. Wow, these like matte shades. Seriously, hip dot, this is amazing. Why is nobody talking about this? I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna use my big brush again and make sure everything's blended. And then I'm gonna go into this peachy shade and put it with my finger on this outer part and blend it into the green. And I can get my finger into the green again. Like that. Wow. This is so creamy and so soft. Another brand I've never heard about, Appeal. Really nice gel liner. So I need to look up and see how much this gel liner costs. Because this is probably the smoothest softest, most pigmented gel liner I've ever tried. I hope this is a good price. Woo, wow. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna get into this color right here. It's just like a cream color. I'm gonna put that right above the brow. Yeah. Let's make it a little bit smoky. There. So I'm going to get into this dark, dark brown. I have to get into a different palette. Okay, so I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are the Icon in Jealous. I have a link and a coupon code if you are interested to get these cheaper. And I love these. These are some of my favorite style and lashes, period. They're so good. So Tapatio also has this huge blending sponge that when whenever I, you know, you put water in it, it gets really huge, but it's super, super soft. So I'm really excited to try that out. Uh, I'm going to get into, I'm going to get into the Tatcha the Silk Canvas today because I'm going to put on a very hydrating foundation. Not hydrating, but dewy. So I'm going to put this on the face. So today I'm going to put on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. It's been a hot minute since I tried it, so I thought we'd put it on. I have this shade, what shade is this? Golden Beige. And let's try this sponge out. It is huge. I love it because it's huge. See if it soaks up a ton of this. Hmm, no, it's actually not soaking up the foundation as much as I thought. Ooh, I'm excited. Good, because my old sponge was gnarly. It was gross. Wow. That blunt down my foundation so freaking quickly because this thing is so huge. Look at this. And I love that it has Tapatio written into it. So freaking Mexican. <laughs> I just love that so much. My husband would say, he doesn't know I have this. He'd be like, really? You're such a Mexican. <laughs> oh, and I would say, yes. Yes, I am. Proud Latina. <laughs> a proud Mexicana. 
I love it. You guys, this is the perfect Christmas gift. I'm not just saying that because like I'm, I'm not being biased. I really do think this would be a bomb Christmas gift. Like I would totally give this to somebody, especially if you have like a Latina friend. It's just funny. It's just funny that it's a top teal palette and sponge. Like it's just funny. Or if you want any more Latina gift ideas, I have a cousin who has a shop called Mexi Stuff. You've probably heard of it. The burrito blanket. Uh, they have like all these funny, great, working, but just like Mexican, like Hispanic culture type of products. Definitely recommend you guys going and checking his store out. I'll put the link below. Follow their Instagram and tell them Bomb Beautiful sent you. For I'm gonna conceal real quick with Rare Beauty. I really do love this sponge. Like I really do like it, and I'm very picky. Like you can see, the product isn't all in one spot. There's I'm super picky with sponges because if I look at the sponge and the foundation seeped in to that exact spot and it's like it's soaking up my foundation too much, I won't use it. I won't use it because just it just bothers me too much. Because, man, foundation and buying makeup and stuff for the channel is expensive. So it bothers me so much if it soaks up too much product. Whoa, my skin looks flawless thanks to the sponge, Tapatio. Woo! I'll use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. We'll do wet and wild and wet and wild together and see how that works. Okay, I'm going to go with my favorite bronzer combo, the Glow Revolution Glow Light Bronzer. I'm going to do this first, lightly, because this can make you look crazy fast. My e.l.f. Perpetually Tan Bronzer. I'm gonna go into this. And bronze. Seriously, like, why does this side always point down? I think I have two different eye shapes and this one likes to point down. Makes me look like I got a lazy eye. That's what it makes me look like. This, this is the Girlactic Skin Glow and Moonlight. I've just been so obsessed with it. I'm sorry, guys. I keep using the same stuff over and over again because, oh my gosh, it's just so good. It's just so good. That's why. This is the best cream highlight you're ever going to try. So good. I'm going to take a tiny brush and I'm going to put this in my inner corners too. That. You know what? I haven't used this in a long time. This is the Catrice Blush Box. It's water and sweat proof and it's in glistening pink, which I think will actually go nice with this look. We'll see. So I'm going to put that on. I'm gonna set the face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Oh, yes. Ooh, I forgot to do my lower lashes. I'm gonna have to go back and do those. I'm gonna go back and do my lower lashes because I forgot to do that uh, with the Tapatio. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into this color Drip and I'm gonna get that really close to the lashes. And it's that peachy color. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna just leave it at that because I really like how that looks with the green contacts. 
This is like the Powder Play Lip Color. I actually like these. They make my lips feel a little bit weird, like tingly, but I like how they look. So I'm going to go in with that, and I'm going to go in with a lip liner. really light peachy color okay and then I'm gonna go in with this color this is the color play these are really interesting if you've never tried these and I know you think oh powder ill but it's pretty freaking cool. It feels like a cream. There you go. There you have it. This is the look. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. This is such a good <sighs> gift. You guys, somebody give this to somebody. So good. <sighs> okay, guys. This palette, I'm obsessed with it. It is so good. And the colors the colors i know we're all tired of palettes the colors are actually really gorgeous and really unique i don't have anything like this i honestly don't have anything quite like this this looks like like a like a burnt yellow that maybe you'd have in another palette but even in the raw beauty beauty christie palette the colors are different like you can see the raw beauty christie yellow and this yellow is different it's like a little bit darker i feel like this is more wearable it has a little bit more like of a mustardy brown in it and it's just it's really pretty i don't have anything like this i'm super excited to try this one this sparkly shade we got a beautiful some beautiful satin shimmers here and a couple mattes and this green they all worked beautifully and I went in with a really light hand um, there was no kick up in the pan everything was just so soft and whenever I swatched everything which I will show you swatches right now everything was just so soft and pigmented and some people don't like swatches I like swatches um, but the way that they applied on the eyes this is just a really nice palette somebody has to give this to somebody for Christmas you guys get your hands on this it is really really good now for the sponge I love it i'm gonna go buy a couple more and i really like i said before i don't like when my sponges really soak up the foundation and i can tell because i'll go ahead and put stripes on my face and when i go into blend if i can see the stripes on my brush it means that it's just soaked up that spot as soon as i pressed it in too much and i hate that i do not like that so this one did not do that i am very very excited i'm gonna go pick up a couple more of these because this is a really good bomb sponge you guys so if you're kind of worried because i know sometimes when brands come out with sponges they suck uh this is actually a really good one and it's so huge but it's soft so i can squish it down and get in there to the concealer but it does the foundation so fast oh my gosh this is a bomb sponge but anyways i really love it i think it is wonderful i approve it you guys should try it um let me know in the comment section what you think of it, what you think of the colors. Um, do you like it? Who's going to give this to somebody for Christmas? Please, 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 please. <laughs> Who's going to give this to somebody for Christmas? Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. Don't forget to subscribe and to go follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.